<laughs> Hello, Roberto. Hi. Uh, nice to see you in Moscow. Thank you. Uh, how was your trip? How did you find the city? How do you like the people at the conference? How do you like the venue? Oh, for now, everything is perfect. I, I have a very good trip. I was worried about arriving at the hotel if, uh, because, uh, because of, I don't can even read the signs. But people were very friendly, in, even in the streets. Yesterday, I did some sightseeing, went to the Kremlin, to the main attractions. And today I'm enjoying very much the conference. And, and you've given your talk now so that you can sort of relax yes, a bit. Yes, I'm much more relaxed after the talk, of course. Okay. And, and everything is, is running very smooth. I mean, I like I like the questions, the very interesting. Okay. Are and questions uh, different from uh, what you expected to, or different yeah. from other countries? Or no, it's more or less the, more or less yes, the more same. Or the same, yes. yes. Uh, so our crowd is, uh, is like international crowd. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, no difference. Uh, it, it's funny, there are some people that are very, very, very inside Lua, that are very technical questions. There are some people that are kind of, uh, what it's Lua, you know? <laughs> it's, it's a, it's You're the, same. A, the leading Lua architect, so mm. you design many parts of the language, you think about the future of the language, you drive the language forward, mm -hmm. but do you actually code in Lua yourself? Code in Lua? Yes, in yes, I, Lua. yes, yes, I use it for Do you do it several, a lot? More or less, usually when I need a scripting language, I use Lua use more Lua. than other languages, because, mainly uh. because I, I'm not a big uh, fan in the sense that people should use Lua for everything. Mm -hmm. I think there are things that are better in Lua, there are things that are better in, in Python. There are, I mean, each language has its own niche, I, I think. So, but for me, Lua, it's much easier because I know everything. I don't have to check the manual. So. <laughs> yes, because you, you kind of wrote yes, the manual. Yes, exactly. You're a super, <laughs> super user. Yeah. Uh, so when you use the language, what are parts of the language which you like most and which are parts of the language which you maybe irritate you, maybe you, you dislike, even though you created the language? Uh, one thing that I never came to a good uh, solution is the syntax for closures. Mm -hmm. uh, everybody complained about that, and I agree that it's kind of too verbose. But I never came to a better or a, a good compromise to, to so do it. So you would love to use more closures uh, on day-to-day -day basis in your in your code. No, I do use, but I would like to r r write less when I use them. Yes, but what do you like about Lua? Like what parts are maybe you are proud I, of? I like very much this part of uh, higher order functions, this uh, functional aspect of the language. Mm -hmm. I'd also like tables, uh, of course. I think so it's, the, the it's functions various. are first order objects and yes. tables are first order objects. And yes, and the, the way they integrate, etc. I like that so very much. So the fact that the language only consists of a few concepts and they are strong enough to empower, uh, yes. empower the yes. programmer. Yes, yes, yes. Some people joke that it's kind of you have to do all yourself, but I enjoy that. I think it's a do you use object-oriented programming a lot? N not frequently. Not I, I worked a lot with object-oriented programming. I published several papers on that um, many years ago, but after some time I kind of gave up now. I, sometimes I use it, sometimes it's useful, but I don't think that you should structure everything around objects. I think it's some one ah. more tool in your toolkit. What about the part, the, uh, the freedom part of the language? Uh, there is a relative freedom in the way you work with packages, work with objects, mm -hmm. uh, so you can use uh, any object-oriented uh, library you like. Mm -hmm. uh, do you like this part? Uh, do you use your own tools? Uh, do you use... No, usually I use the, 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 the basic, uh, there is a basic scheme that you don't need any extra tools, mm -hmm. like uh, it's in, in the book, uh, and usually when I use object-oriented programming, I, j I do the, just the basics, I don't use extra tools. But I like this flexibility, I think, specifically for the kind of things that Lua is used, like embedding in other software, I think it's very convenient that you can, you can, you you can adapt. Freedom. Yes, you can adapt the object model to the application you have. If you had to name uh, uh, a third party or uh, a library for Lua that you could use or like praise, uh, would you would you have a name to praise? LPEG, of course, that I designed it. The, the parser, the, the, the uh -huh. pattern matching library based on mm -hmm. parsing expression grammars. And I like the Lua socket very much too. I think mm -hmm. it's a very... If you had a chance to um, 
begin creating the language from scratch, what would you do differently? What parts are Ooh. the legacy parts you would probably drop? This is a tricky question. One thing that we had in Lua, now we don't have much, but we had in the beginning was freedom to change the language. So a lot of things that we didn't like, we actually dropped. We still drop things <laughs> even today. This is one of, of uh, characteristics of Lua that people don't like much, but it's essential to keep the language small so that sometimes we just do incompatible changes. So, so rethink uh, a concept yes, and Yes, exactly, a and we do a concept like uh, environments from 5.1 to 5.2. So a lot of things that I don't like, we, we change after some mm -hmm. time. Currently, for, I, I mentioned in my talk the VARARG system. I don't like it. Very, I, I think I prefer the old style, but it's kind of embarrassing to change back to, I mean, it's nothing new, but, to, but I, I, maybe in the future I will assume that was a mistake and go so, back to how it was. So I will admit into repeating the question, which is uh, so uh, like personal to me. If you had a chance to design a language from scratch, would you? still keep only a table as a primary object and yes, not introduce yes, any like tuples, that. arrays, no, anything no. like that. I li yes, I love tables. I think you this is it. Because the, the people usually j ask for more, but they do not consider the whole impact in a very other parts of Lua that they like, like the, the size of the manual, the size of the implementation, the size of the API, the complexity of putting everything together. So of course, it's, it's great to have tables and tuples and arrays and lists and whatever, and but you'll have to pay a price for that. And so it's right. the compromises of Lua are not in that direction. So that it's very easy to learn, very easy to start, yeah. and uh, very few concepts Yes, to exactly. Yes, you don't have to choose whether should I use an array here or a table or a tuple or whatever. Uh, just use tables. It's uh, Lua is uh, how many? More than 20 years old. Yes. And uh, uh, over these 20 years, like in looking forward, um, what do you, you mentioned that you, when you rethink a concept, you are ready to change it, mm -hmm. re ready to change the language. But generally, your view on compatibility, mm -hmm. wasn't it a good thing that Lua was very uh, sort of uh, uh, stable and incompatible changes weren't that uh, hard, you know, for users and, uh, in future? Do you think there is going to be a lot of more changes, incompatible changes? I don't know. It's difficult because we always consider the, the possibility of incompatible and time, changes. Only time yes, control. and then we have to, to wait whether it's how good it is, how easy it is for people to adapt, even if it isn't compatible. There are several different yeah, levels, levels of incompatibility. Of, of how easy it is to have a compatibility module, for instance, how easy it is to change, just change if the change is detected by, by syntax or by obvious errors. So for instance, some changes will just make your program run completely different. That would be a nightmare, for instance. So some changes... Or syntax and even... compatibilities, which would syntax break are, every, every Syntax line. are usually, sometimes are the easiest, because you... Just patch, patch your code. Yeah, they, yeah yes. I, no, or, 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 but when you compile your program, you see the problem. So it's, yeah. it's very easy to fix. But for instance, uh, a hypothetical one that people ask all the time, oh, change arrays to, from indexing to one to indexing to zero. That, I mean, I'm not considering that, but even if I consider it, that would be a nightmare because all programs would work and would work completely wrong. And I mean, the logic of the program would be wrong. We would have no obvious error messages because everything is working, just completely wrong yes, results. Yes, it's just not for, working. It's yes, just exactly. broken. Yes, just broken, but it, you have way. to debug the whole program to find what is wrong. So this is kind of incompatibility that is. But we, when you remove a function, that it's much easier because you have a function not found. It's a very yeah, and obvious you error, and it. you can re-implement or you get a library. So it's, these are much easier. And so we always measure the impact. On the, so it's not like it's incompatible or it's not incompatible. There is several levels of several things levels. to consider. Yeah. So uh, what do you think over these years? How did the uh, Lua community change? Did it grow a lot? And uh, uh, how do you uh, see the growth of the language, the adoption of the language? 
it's difficult sometimes for us to, to measure that. This is very funny, but we have a kind of, I don't know if it's because we live in, in Brazil <laughs> or really far away from or where most people use Lua. But well, we are live far apart, but we yes, use Lua. Yes, so. but yes, but this is now I'm discovering a lot of people using Lua here. So it, it's, it's sometimes I, I joke that we read like uh, smoke signals about the languages. It's like suddenly <laughs> well, we, when it breaks, you can yeah, see something yeah, different. It's funny. For instance, when I discovered that Adobe was using Lua last year, no, two years ago, oh. I, I went to an internal Lua workshop at Adobe with like 150 people. And it was completely internal. There was no, just for people inside Adobe. It was a huge Lua workshop. And, I, and by chance, I, I, I knew about it, but they could, they could do that without I even heard about. So it's difficult for me to, to know. Sometimes I see some, like and Wikipedia. There is no business around this. So it's <laughs> like it's a community driven. It's, there is no. Uh, it's not me. like uh, no. I mean, generally, it's not. It's a language. It's uh, it's not uh, you know something you can sell. It's yes. Yes. Exactly. Yes. So that's yes, why you, you can't know whether. It's yes. Exactly. It's free that. software. Yes. Yeah. So sometimes I, I learn, but uh, by chance, uh, even games. Sometimes uh, we learn. Oh, yeah. So uh, a huge, uh, from my view, uh, boost uh, to Lua was this legit uh, <coughs> uh, implementation uh, because uh, it was. Uh, uh, so uh, claim to be so faster and mm -hmm. so uh, you know easier to find with C or with Amplify mm -hmm. and things like that. Uh, uh, but on the other side, on the downside, is that uh, Logit is not fully compatible, and with mm -hmm. Lua 5.2 and Lua 5.3, yeah. uh, the gap seems to be widening. Mm -hmm. So on one hand, Lua community at large grows, but on the other hand, it becomes more fragmented. Yes. What do you think about it? What's the what? What the future of this? What can I be done? I think that they did. Well, what should be done is that Lua Jit could follow <laughs> Lua, like uh, any language implementer does. But Lua Jit now is behaving like Microsoft with C. Mm -hmm. that they got C, they extended C, but now they refuse to adopt C99. They mm -hmm. stick with C89, mm -hmm. and everybody else is using C99, but Microsoft is not. Microsoft is a big uh, vendor of, of C, so a lot of people, so uh, but what would be the solution? Uh, but Microsoft? eventually the world converge, uh, converges around standards, uh, like should, They should, time. yes, they should, but... Mm, and it also so, has to do with uh, mm. standardization as well, because from, like I'm, I'm in the database world, mm -hmm. and uh, in the database we have SQL 92, SQL 99 mm -hmm. standard, and then SQL yeah. 2003. And I know very few vendors who implement actually SQL 2003 fully because it's uh, such a big standard. It's mm -hmm. a, so it has to be uh, like uh, yeah. uh, both both sides. So yes. they have to converge. In, in yes, but yeah, I don't know. In the case of Lua, Lua it's not bigger than it was. It's just uh, I mean I think he's. He, Maybe he's afraid of incompatibilities, uh, I, but I, I don't know. I mean, so yeah. It's difficult yeah. to... Okay. So, uh, uh, speaking of users of Lua, uh, what is the maybe most surprising use of the language that you know? I mean, most unexpected. Uh, yeah, this is a, a some of some, somehow frequent question. Yeah. Uh, all uses for me are kind of... <laughs> in the beginning, it was <laughs> unexpected. For instance, this use of Lua in games, this was complete. A lot of people ask, if we developed Lua for games. We didn't. We didn't even think about games in the beginning. It was a big surprise when people started adopting Lua. And again, it was like smoke signals. After many years, you realize, oh, there was a lot of games using Lua. It was kind of, wow, that and game used Lua. That also used Lua. And wow, there is. And now and there, there is so a so growing adoption in the <coughs> web world, like mail. Yes, mail like Internet of Things is something that is happening now. The, the adoption of Lua, there is, we, I see very uh, a lot of signs, small smoke signs of, for instance, it was just last week, Intel released the development kit for inter Internet of Things that support Lua. So, but we don't know where this is going to be, but it's again, just reading signals, trying okay. to interpret. Okay. Well, What's thank you very much for this uh, interview, and I hope to see you around and uh, yeah. bug you with my questions. And, uh, uh, no, sure. Thank you for the. Thank, thank you. you all for the. Thank